everybody. Happy Thursday. I am just finishing up putting together my chicken crock pot meal. This is just crock pot chicken. I usually put um, onion soup mix in with this, but today I just put in some of this better than bouillon with a cup of water and, <clears throat> and then I just seasoned it. And then maybe we'll have some gravy on the side. So I don't know if I needed a whole cup of water, but I put a cup in because um, I like the juice and plus I can use some of it to make gravy because I, I have a packet, a gravy packet that I'll probably make and then I can put some of the juice in there and make the gravy on the stove top. I'm not gonna put the gravy inside because Daryl, you know, he's kind of picky. He doesn't really like gravy on stuff like this. <laughs> he's just weird, I know. So anyway, I'm making it separate. So in here I just have a lot of um, red potatoes because I had a bag of them and they were going bad and so I saved the ones that were good there's about six or seven of them and I just cut them in half and in quarters and I'll probably have leftover potatoes to eat which is good I like that I threw in some carrots and onions and then I have two chicken breasts on the bottom I lined it with a liner and I have it on low it's 10 to 12 it'll be cooked by the time Daryl gets home around I don't know, 536. So I added the Better Than Bouillon, which is amazing, to a cup of water, stirred it all together, and then put it on. Um, I had pepper, I used onion salt, I used this Alvi's Incredible. It's, I just had seasonings and threw them in. I just took them out of my cupboard, whatever was there. Um, I don't know if this is just a Utah thing, but this just has salt, granulated garlic, black pepper, onion powder, and spices. So, and it's no MSG, gluten-free, vegan, paleo, all natural, no preservatives. So anyway, it's almost all gone. Yeah, onion salt. I added some parsley flakes for color, onion powder, and I did add a little bit of thyme, and then some poultry seasoning and so yeah that's what's gonna be for dinner tonight nice and light and simple okay and this is the gravy I'm gonna make I always make this McCormick packaged chili or um, gravy usually I say shilling but I always mean McCormick so this stuff's really good I get it in all their flavors and I always use this turkey flavor at Thanksgiving. But I had some chicken, so I'm going to use that tonight. But I really like it. It tastes really nice, and it's easy to make. You just add a cup of water to a packet of, of gravy. So that's what I'm going to make for tonight to put over everything. I tell you what, I look like poo. And I still have all of my acne scarring because I can't stop picking my face. These dang masks, I wash them and they still, they, that's the only thing I can think of because I'm getting them right here. And I never get them like right here a whole bunch on each side. So I'm assuming it's from the, wearing all the masks. But there's nothing in them anymore. I just can't stop picking the scabs. I'm a picker, I'm a grinner. It is what it is. And still no work coming in. I, it's 11.47, I'm gonna shut it down. Um, yeah. So today, I'm going to wear this shirt that I got at TJ Maxx last year for my birthday. I got it. I used a gift card from my BFF, so that's what I'm going to wear today. And I'm going to wear just some black leggings. It's only supposed to be like 67 today. 
So these are the shorter ones. I get them from Walmart. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. My chicken's looking really good. From what I can tell. The chicken's in the bottom, but smells really good. Can't wait for dinner tonight. Hey kids. So we are on our way to the grocery store. <laughs> I have a crap ton of prescriptions to get. I was finally able to get them to the point where I could order them. I could call them all in on the same day. Just because, you know how sometimes you forget to take a pill or you go a few days and you forget. Well, Daryl and I have both done that. And so we're now able to, that bought, that bought us some time and so we we're able to get them all called in on the same day. So I think I have like eight or ten. I know, it's disgusting. We're, I'm not even 50 yet. I'm 49! And I have a lot of prescriptions. But anywho, and Daryl does too. But, I kind of want to first go, I know, I'm bad. But I think our Michaels have opened up and want to see what's in there crafty wise that I can get or that I'm interested in because I'm going nuts. I'm just going N-U-T-S nuts because of this whole isolation stuff. So I want to see if they have anything. If they're open, I'll wear my mask. And I just want to see like maybe they have some new beads for jewelry or something. So I'm gonna go to the store last because I might need to pick up actual food ra rather than just prescriptions. And that way it won't have to like sit in the car and stuff. But I haven't been out of the house since Friday. I have not been out of the house because I haven't been feeling well. I don't have the coat. I don't have. Uh, see, YouTube doesn't like you to use that word. So I don't have the big C. I'm, I know I don't have the big C. I feel fine now, but I just had the worst neck ache and headache, and it just made me feel like I had the flu, but just just regular flu. So I stayed in bed all day, Monday and Tuesday. Well, Saturday and Sunday, I was fine, but Daryl and I, we still didn't leave the house good because we're lazy. And so I just stayed in the house. And then on Sunday night, I was starting to feel really bad. And then it just got worse and worse. And then Monday and Tuesday, I took the day off. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And um, I just slept and slept and slept and now I'm good okay I'll be back okay that was weird there was this cop directing traffic and I thought he was pulling people over he was just directing traffic Ugh. there's always a traffic jam right here where I have to turn because they're always doing construction right here so anyway I feel better now though so it's all good so I'm just dying to get out of the house. And now that I get to go out of the house to get prescriptions, I want to go other places besides just the store and then go all the way back home in the dark and pick my butt. I'm just tired of it. So anywho, I have a garbage can here. My little Hobby Lobby sack that I use for my garbage bag. I just hang it on my joystick or my gear stick, <laughs> whatever. So let's hang in there and I have my box of, of sanitizers and masks and whatnot. But yeah, it's a pretty day. It's, it's only 55 right now. It was supposed to be hotter than that. And so I put my tennis shoes on. I was gonna wear my sandals, but mm-mm. No, I don't like cold feet and I don't like cold ankles. Okay.
Okay, I'm here with the whole wide world. Everybody's here. Everybody's here today at Michael's. And I'm just gonna wear my little black bralette today. Okay, here we go. We are out of the Michaels and I've already been to the Harmons. I've got my prescriptions. I didn't buy anything else at Harmons. So I am just on my way home. And there is a speed demon trying to ride my butt. I hate that. And we're on a neighborhood street. It's 35 and she wants to go like 45 so she can kiss my butt. If she wants to ride it, she can kiss it. Um, I went overboard at Michael's. Things, the beads, the beads were 40% off. I thought they were 50% off. And then I did have some things that were 20% off, but I didn't, I ended up spending 50 bucks and I thought I was gonna not spend 50 bucks. It is what it is. And Daryl said it is my anniversary present now. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'll show you all that when I get home. But it's 64 degrees now and it is nice. And I'm hungry. All I had today were some Dollar Tree Thin Mints. And did I have anything else? Oh, I had four Dollar Tree Thin Mints and two Oreos. No, three Oreos. <laughs> I'm so bad. So bad. So yeah, I'm hungry. And I need to go home and unload the dishwasher and prepare lettuce and get it put away. I bought another thing of romaine lettuce the other day and I have to put it away so I have to wash it and stuff like that so maybe this time I won't forget to press the on button and I can show you how I do it last time I thought I was filming and I wasn't okay so I will see you when I get home you can smell dinner in the garage the smell is seeping through I know you're not supposed to do this but I'm lifting the lid. I just turned it down to low. I meant to turn it down to low before I left, but that's okay. So, anywho, it smells good and I cannot wait. And now I will show you what I got at the Michaels. So, first, I got these at the checkout stand. They were a dollar each. And, um,. So I just grabbed one for my nieces for like Christmas or something. It looks like you can color your own bow. I don't know. They're only a buck. And then I got 20% off of those because these were not on sale. And then I got this wax. This was on sale for $1.99. Normally $3.99. And this smells really nice. This one is called Flower Bouquet, and then this one smells super nice, Ocean Air, and this is really soft. Um, it's really nice and soft. I like it. So hopefully I'll like it when it's burning. I didn't do any um, candles today, or do I didn't light my Scentsy today because I knew that my chicken, my crockpot chicken would just permeate the air, so I did not turn on any crock, any candles or melting pots and then the rest is beads so I got these three and it just dawned on me that I already have them yes pretty sure I already have this size here and probably that I think I probably have all three of them and these were like three something a piece I don't think these are on sale I think I got them for 20% off but I don't even want to look at the the receipt because I tried looking at it and it was so ski -wombs. I don't know how to read their receipts they're always so you never know what's what and 
whatnot. So whatever. And then these, these are just kind of like a milky light peach. I don't know. They just stood out and so I grabbed them because I was anxious to just throw crap in my cart. Picked up some, just some gold spacer beads. And then I picked up these fake turquoise beads. Um, I don't know what they are, but they're not real. Well, it says turquoise, but they can't be real. This does not look like real turquoise. But if it is, cool, but I doubt it. Just like this stuff, this isn't real. It's just the fake. Anyway, so I grabbed this. I'm just in the turquoise mood. And then these were just hanging somewhere and I couldn't find any more, but they're like a moonstone. These are glass beads. Um, it's a glass synthetic opal, but it's really pretty. They kind of just glow. So I don't know what I'll do with it. I just dumb now. This one looks... I thought I saw one that was cracked. Yeah, this one. This one's cracked. Or is it? Maybe not. I think it's just how the light goes on them. It's not cracked. Okay, and then these little things were buy one, get one free. So these were five something. These are real little pearls. Three millimeter. They're so cute. And so buy one, get one free. That's for me. And last but not least, I saw these at the last second. These are bead bugs. You put these on your wires or your string while you're stringing beads and like you stick them on the ends of your beads so that they hold your beads in place. And I was always using tape because I didn't have anything to do that with and I didn't even know these existed. So you just sort of clamp where you want them and they hold your beads in place. So these were also five something and I got 20% off. So anywho, that was my $50 haul today, everybody. Happy anniversary to me. <laughs> I was totally cleaning my beads off with a Clorox wipe and I accidentally pulled the lid off and all of these were in my wipe and I heard a whole bunch fall on the floor and all I heard was bounce, bounce, bounce. You could hear them bouncing on the floor and I can't find hardly any of them. They all just bounced along the floor. Some of them were up here and I got them, but I could hear a lot of bouncing on the floor and I don't see any. All right. I'm gonna start the salad now. So this is what I get, the Earthbound Farm Romaine. And you get three bundles in a bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it all out and cut off the bottoms and wash it. And I lay it on this towel here. And then I'm gonna line each of these little containers with a paper towel. This is an actual container that had lettuce in it. The same lettuce, but it was already prepared and washed and it, it comes in this container. I save these because they're perfect for storing more lettuce or just leftovers. I love these things. And then this is a great one from Dollar Tree. It's super awesome. I love it. So. I actually have a paper towel here. I just kind of go like that. And then like that. So those are ready to go. I have a colander over here and yeah, I'm just gonna Start doing my thing. I'll put you up over here so you can watch.
this last bunch ready. So I'm just going to put it in this container. Kind of dry it off a little bit. It doesn't have to be all the way dry. And that's it. That's how I store my lettuce. See how great that is? Probably can't really tell. Not enough light. <laughs> I have the worst lighting. Okay, ready for the fridge. So I just stick that one in. And then I just stick this on top. There it is. chicken just fell apart as I was trying to get it out. I have lots of leftovers too. It's delicious. There's still a whole bunch left in the pot for leftovers and the lunch, I guess. I need to go get more gravy. I could just make a pot of chicken, cook some mashed potatoes, call it good. For some reason, I'm never a big carrot fan. I like them, just would rather not have them.
Hey everybody, welcome to the closet. <sighs> I was so full after dinner, you don't even know. But it was so good, and I do have leftovers. So maybe tomorrow at lunch, I'll just eat the chicken. Um, I didn't realize, but I put seven potatoes in that thing, man. I mean, they were smaller, but seven? And I think I ate, like, four of them. Jeez. I know I at least had three, but... So I thought, okay, I'm going to go on the treadmill after this. Or I'm going to watch Ghost Adventures, and I'm going to go on, on the treadmill after that. Well, that never happened. I watched Ghost Adventures, and I talked myself out of going down walking, and I got in the shower instead. And now here I am. Here I am. Um... I have one more <sighs> dinners of the night. I have one more dinner to make before I upload dinners of the night. And I'm just thinking which which shall I make? What shall I make? Which dinner shall I make? I don't know. I'm still thinking. But last week, this past week has been a lot of repeats and a lot of fend for yourself because I was sick and I wasn't feeling very well and I was just like fend for yourself honey so I haven't really cooked a lot this past week but anyway so tomorrow is Friday Friday I have no clue what I'm gonna do no clue I ought to clean but I don't know. I don't know. Friday's just a fun day. I don't want to be cooped up in the house cleaning. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll venture out tomorrow. But I don't really... I don't need to go anywhere. And I shouldn't really go anywhere. I don't need groceries. I don't know why you guys watch me because I don't have anything to do ever so anyway but thanks for watching me and hanging out with me anyway I really do love you and appreciate you and I just think you all are groovy oh and I was gonna tell you if you watched my last Dollar Tree haul when I bought those little plug-in night lights the little round ones they're kind of like a spotlight those things are flipping cool you've got to get you some I want to get some more so I will show you how bright they are tonight when I feed my cat I usually feed her when I go to bed So yeah, I hope you had a great day today. Thanks for hanging out with me. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Okay? I hope you'll have a wonderful sleepy. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Just hang it on my joystick or my gear stick. <laughs> <laughs>